All right, we've almost stocked up on it. Let's see, can we make this shot? Is the 10 gauge buckshot as bad as the 12 gauge buckshot? 50 meter shot, zeroed for 50 meters. And I mean, it's going down, but it is going down a little slower than I would like. You know, maybe we need to get closer. How is everybody doing though? I hope you guys have been having a fantastic day. Today we're gonna be testing out the 10 gauge buckshot because in the past we've tried out the 12 gauge buckshot and it just didn't perform to the expectations that a lot of people wanted it to, including myself. Buckshot unfortunately has never been as strong in the Hunter Call of the Wild as it would be in real life. And because of that, not many people use it. I already know there's gonna be a couple people in the comments saying, well, it, you can make it work. Yes, you can make it work, but it doesn't change the fact that it should be a little bit stronger. And I mean, that was 10 gauge buckshot right there. And that doe ran a very long distance. We'll try to get a closer like 25 meter shot and see if that changes it by a drastic amount. But as so far, it's looking like it might be a little rough considering the buckshot can go clear up to class seven, which we will be testing as we get further in this video. Okay, so with the very loud geese over there, we're about to take our second shot. This one from a much closer distance. I'm even going to run up until they go alert, and there we go. I don't think that's going to kill them super, super quick. I mean, that one's already dead. Maybe this was quite a bit better at a closer distance like that. I mean, we did end up getting full quick kill bonus. Uh, we got a lot more of the organs with that shot right there. The pellets were a lot closer as expected. Not bad. So, I guess if you're going to use buckshot on the deer for the 10 gauge, you probably should be within 30 meters. Because that was definitely a lot faster than the 50 meter shot. But still, I don't know if I could recommend using this as of now. And, I mean, we're only about to get even crazier with the size of the animals. So, I don't see this being very good for the 10 gauge with the buckshot. Our next target is going to be a little tougher to take down. A Javan Rusa deer. And uh, these guys are class 5 animal and are definitely stronger than a white-tailed deer. So we're going to see how this buckshot handles against this guy right here. Well, we're about 40 meters away. We might be able to get a little bit closer. Uh, we're going to have to be very quick if we want to, though. That should be solid, though. That should be solid. Looked good. Is it, though? Is it going to lose health? No. What happened with that shot? I mean, I aimed slightly high, but that was because it was farther than 25 meters away. Yeah, we didn't hit a single organ. Oh, that is unfortunate. Well, take two. You know, I think the problem on that last one may have been that we ended up hitting the shoulder. I'm going to assume we hit the shoulder, so I'm going to try and get a better angle this time around. Uh, try to make it not as quartered as the previous one, though this might be tough. These Rusadier have been going attentive faster than I'd like, so... I mean, it could happen at any moment now. I gotta be careful with this. Yeah, right there. It's going attentive. So let's just get lined up. We'll move a little bit closer. Yeah, there we go. That guy's going down. Still taking it a little bit to die. I'd say that was equivalent to the 50 meter shot on the white tail that we did at the beginning. But we were at half the distance due to the uh, extra uh, tankiness of the Rusa deer. It still took it a long time to die even though we were closer. Let's see. What's the damage like? That is... Wow. So it... It actually died quite slow when you consider the fact that this was left lung, stomach, and liver, and it still took that long to die. I honestly don't even want to know what it's going to be like when we try to take down a sambar deer or a Roosevelt elk. Both those are class 7 animals, so they are technically within the range of what this buckshot should be able to take down. Okay, it's time. We are 33 meters away from this sambar deer. Let's see, is this even going to be usable on a sandbar? Obviously, it's within the class range, but would you ever want to use it on one? Let's find out. 
the health is starting to go down. Not very quick, but... Yeah, I mean... It, it gets it done. It gets the job done. But you do have to wait a little while, and that was a very close shot too. 33 meters. Every pellet went into the lung except for one of them. Pretty wild, man. Pretty wild. I mean, 87% quick kill bonus. I, I suppose that is still, like, good enough. Like, if you want to use Buckshot, like, it, it'll do fine against a Sandbar Deer. But it's definitely not going to be most people's first choice. So I'm kind of going out of order in classes right now because this is a class 6 animal. But I do kind of believe that Red Deer have at least the same toughness, if not higher toughness than a Sandbar Deer. So figured, why not? Let's go shoot a Red Deer. Um, I don't know how this is going to go, though. He's not exactly giving me the angle I had hoped for. Unless he just keeps walking. Of course, he's not going to. Of course, he's not going to keep walking, and he is alerted. God, maybe vitals? Oh, it is. We did get vitals. Okay, so that actually worked out. Oh, now we're getting attacked. So provided this was a lung hit, he definitely died slower than the Sambar Deer. Well, let's go check it out, though. We got to make sure we hit Lung. Let's see. What do we got here? That is, yeah, Lung and Liver. Wow, and that thing died slower than the Sambar. That's actually kind of crazy. Given, I think, with the Sambar, we did hit the stomach as well. So, obviously, that's going to kill it slightly faster. But, yeah, only 37% quick kill. I wonder if we had got the stomach... Maybe we would have got them down in the same amount of time, but either way, that's still quite a while to wait for this thing to die from 27 meters away. So this is about 37 meters away on what is going to be our toughest animal of the day, most likely, the Rocky Mountain Elk. These things are no joke in terms of their toughness. So let's see if we can possibly get this. We're fully hidden right now. She is completely unspooked. While she's drinking, she will not be able to sprint away, so we're just going to run up and get her before she goes alert. Please. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, it's dying so slow. 50 to 75, 25 to 50. Come on. 0 to 25. Yeah, we're not getting any quick kill bonus on this. There she goes. She's finally dead. It was a good hit. We got vitals. Yeah, maybe don't take your 10-gauge uh, buckshot out for a uh, <laughs> for an elk hunt. Might not be the best idea. I would just use the slugs. Now, I think there is one animal within this 4 to 7 class range that we might actually be able to take out relatively quick and possibly even get a drop shot. So that's what we're going to try out next. Now, this was just a single lung, so I assume if we had got liver and stomach, you know, hit a little bit further back, we might have been able to kill it quicker. But still, that was pretty bad. 7% quick kill bonus. I wouldn't use buckshot on a rocky elk at all. But as I was saying, there is one more animal that I think we might be able to one-shot and just drop it on the spot with this 10-gauge buckshot. So let's go check that out now. And uh, that animal is the Seeker Deer. This thing is a class 4 animal, so we can use this buckshot on it, and it's very likely that it will die super, super quick. So quick to the point where I think I'm probably comfortable with attempting a 75 meter shot. Uh, if this doesn't go well, we'll try a closer one, but I just want to see. Will this do okay? No, 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 it won't. So yeah, still don't try the long range shots. All right, here we go. 27 meters. So if we stand up and then move slightly closer, we'll be within 25. Okay, yeah, this is the way to use the 10 gauge buckshot on Seekadir because these things drop instantly with it. Holy crap, that poor thing. I kind of feel bad. It, it absolutely stood no chance. <laughs> wow, that's wild, man. So, in conclusion, is the 10-gauge buckshot miles above the 12-gauge buckshot? No, 
It really isn't. It, it felt like it kind of performed the same. There might be a little extra power, but not enough to for me to justify using it for much at all. I'd rather use a slug on the animals I can use a slug for. And in most cases, like the 12 gauge slug is going to just be better than the 10 gauge buckshot. The same with like the 10 gauge slug, it's gonna be better. Which is very unfortunate cause like buckshot, the whole purpose of it is that if you're at close or even mid range, it's supposed to pack an absolute punch and in real life it would. In real life, you wouldn't see a tear go far at all uh, from a close range hit of buckshot. But if you want to try something different, something fun, maybe go out and hunt some Sika Deer with the 10 gauge buckshot because it does really good on them. It just doesn't do super great on like class 5, 6, and 7 animals. Even with that white tail deer, it didn't die super, super quickly, so I don't know if I could even recommend using it for them. But at the end of the day, it's definitely usable on them, just not the best of the best or anything like that. You're going to be able to find better options in almost every other weapon and ammo type. I really hope that one day they buff the buckshot because it still is very underwhelming in the Hunter Call of the Wild. I hope that someday it'll be considered at least usable to the point where you can expect it to drop most animals relatively quickly. You know, I don't even want it to instantly drop like the class five and six animals. I just want it to not take so long for them to die. If we could shoot something like a Rusa deer and have it die within three seconds after being shot, that would be perfectly fine. I would love that. So I hope they buff it at some point. If they don't, I probably won't be using it too much in the future aside from taking out diamonds and great ones on the occasion. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below as well as a comment letting me know your thoughts on the 10 gauge buckshot and whether or not you're going to be using it in your future hunts. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel if you're brand new, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!